So our union is absolutely not going to let this stand. Because they let it stand here, it goes everywhere. We're putting a stop to it, it's been happening for a long time in this country. And we're not going to let it happen again. Thanks for turning up. that this is a sanctuary campus, it's not enough. As we've seen, even though Berkeley is a sanctuary campus, people like Luis, uh, excuse me, Jesus, are uh, being detained and raided. So the real question is, what would it take to really make this a sanctuary campus? I think it would take for every single one of us here to get organized to the point that if we were to see that guy in our math class, that woman who works you know, behind the lunch counter, that if we see that they're ever going to get harassed by ICE agents and anyone, that we will take the stand right then and there. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Uh, Gabriella, you want to come up and read the letter from Brown? And we do have a few more minutes. Students that are coming out in the lunch rush now, join us for the march we're going to have in a few minutes for immigrant rights demanding a sanctuary campus, demanding the immediate release of the campus worker, Jesus Gutierrez, who's been held for over a week now. With the, without any back push from the administration, we have to make the back push. We have to get him freed now. Dear Clarker administrators, the detention of Jesus Gutierrez is a disturbing example of what is becoming normal in our country. ICE is encouraging racist sentiments while practicing inhumane tactics across the country through raids and detention. ICE behavior should not be allowed to continue and challenge. We are all humans regardless of documentation. ICE, as violators of human rights and perpetrators of racism, should not be allowed on campus, nor should they be supported by UCB. As a university, UC Berkeley should assert its position against racism and the violation of human rights by accepting the demands issued in response to ICE's presence on campus. This is not a question of what is right. Fear and hate have no place in this country, let alone our universities. Brown University's Immigrant Rights Coalition stands in solidarity with the demands to free Jesus Gutierrez and to establish Berkeley as a sanctuary campus for equality and freedom, BIRC. Okay, so get your marching shoes ready. In a few minutes we're going to go. We're going to go demand an answer and a meeting with the administration. But we want an answer now at, at California uh, Hall. And then we're going to march to Clark Kerr. And we're going to pick at anybody that can stay to pick it up there to demand a response now. So I'd like to turn this over to Ronald Cruz from BAM for a few words before we march. Yeah. We're going to stick around a little longer because people will be leaving their 11 to 12.30 class. But a couple of uh, quick technical things. Go to our table, even if you've signed a BAM petition already. If you're here today, uh, sign that petition because we need to organize out of today. We may or may not get a meeting with the university today. We may get one next week. We need all of you to be at that meeting. If every single person here is at a meeting with the university, demanding to know what their response is to this arrest and our demand for a sanctuary campus and an independent investigation, we will basically win. And also, I just want to point out, UC Berkeley, we will be the first sanctuary campus in the nation. This is the home of the free speech movement. When Berkeley students acted, other campuses did the same. We can make history here. And whether that's through a formal official declaration, whether that is through firing the persons responsible for this deportation, or whether even if it's a denial, an attempt by UC Berkeley to dissociate from this outrage, Either way, we will have won. We will have established UC Berkeley will be not cooperate, 
and we'll be afraid of the next scandal, and we'll not cooperate with ICE. We can win this campaign. Um, we don't have this currently, but we've also initiated a brown armband campaign. Over the next months, we'll be passing out brown armbands, and when you wear one on your arm or on your bag, that will be your public declaration that if any worker that we see or any student of our uh, of classmate, schoolmate, is approached by ICE, we will do everything in our power to make sure that person is not arrested. Whether that means interposing yourself, whether that means alerting other students around you. Look, there's someone being approached by ICE. They, we need to gather up and yell at the ICE officer until he goes away. We can make this a sanctuary campus through our own action. If Chancellor Bergeron won't make this a sanctuary campus, we will. Just want to recap because there's some new people here today, but Jesus Gutierrez was a custodial worker in the Clark Kirk Dining Commons who was arrested last Wednesday, April 29th. Two federal agents, one of whom was from ICE, asked for Jesus Gutierrez and the manager let them into his office and then summoned Jesus. This same manager, when approached by BAM, denied knowing Jesus. They left him alone with the agents. How could they have known his name? How did they know when he worked and what shift he had and which manager he had? There had to have been some information fed to them from someone in the university and we demand to know who that person was. We need an independent investigation involving students, the union, and the administration to, ex to find out exactly what happened because the person responsible should know that next time you try to ruin someone's life, there will be consequences. ICE came in and treated Jesus Gutierrez like a criminal. But who are the real criminals, I ask? If those agents did not wear suits, did not wear uniforms, did not have that cloak of governmental authority,